Japan is considered the pioneer of high-speed rail because of its popular bullet trains which are in service since 1964. Some European nations also operate sizable length of high-speed tracks. Even countries like Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Morocco have constructed some of the high-speed tracks in the last decade or so. But none of these countries have the world's largest network of faster trains. So who owns the title of world's largest high-speed rail network? It's China. But the title world's largest high-speed rail network does not even come close to explaining the sheer size of China's high-speed network. The first high-speed railway track was officially opened in August 2008, which connected Beijing with the city of Tianjin. It set the world record for fastest conventional train service in the world by covering 114 kilometers of distance in just 30 minutes, reaching the top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Since then, China has miraculously outbuilt every other nation on the planet by building 40,000 kilometers of high-speed tracks by the end of 2021, and has plans to build additional 30,000 kilometers by 2035. To put this massive web of Chinese high-speed rail into perspective, China National Railways was operating more than 9,600 high-speed trains per day by late 2020. According to 2020 statistics, Spain ranks second with 3,330 km of high-speed rail track, which is only around 8% of China's current total length. Japan operates 3,041 km of high-speed rail track. France stands at 2,734 km. European superpower Germany has 1571 km of high-speed track in operation. And the US lags far behind with only 735 km. And even that is argued to be not fast enough as Asela can reach 240 km per hour for only 58 km of its total span. Thanks to these trains, intercity travel has been transformed and now it poses biggest threat to domestic air routes between 400 to 800 km. On one of the most popular Beijing-Shanghai route, travel time has reduced from whopping 37 hours to just 4. The number of train passengers has grown annually by 30% since 2008. Though the country was already riding high on booming economy, the high-speed rail ecosystem has significantly contributed to its economic growth. Satellite towns have sprung up near congested cities where people can afford low-priced housing and travel to commercial centers just in time for work. Economic activities have increased in remote areas as the access is eased to large industrial zones. Foreign business seekers now find it easier to travel further inland to find cheaper manufacturers and labor. The overall market share of business-related travel is 63% on Beijing-Shanghai route, for example, as per World Bank study. The travel spree happening every lunar year has often been termed as the world's largest migration. China initially has been dependent on imported technology from Japan and Europe, but over the last decade, homegrown companies have excelled into becoming world leaders in high-speed train tech and engineering. High economic growth and the demand to move people and goods enabled China to invest heavily in the technology. Among the 254 important standards, Chinese standards account for 84%. Till 2020, China's high-speed rail products and technology have been exported to almost 100 countries over six continents. In July 2021, China's self-developed high-speed maglev train rolled off the production line. With a top speed of 600 km per hour, the Maglev is currently the world's fastest ground vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe the channel for more.